another day, another unit. We're back here at pods again. We're gonna get the other unit, another 16 foot pod. It's full and it, this one only costs $30. So I paid 130 for one and 30 for this one. So, and it, it's full. So if there's anything in there at all, I'll be doing all right. And I've had a lot of questions about where's Keith? Well, yeah. Keith is here today. You had questions. Keith's over here reading the legal notices in the paper. Mm -hmm. Hi. And, um, but he's here today. He's here to help me load. Yeah. People have been asking where you're at. All my fans. All your fans. But anyways, we're about to, we're waiting here. They're going to bring our pod around and we'll get loading here in just a minute. All right. They just brought the pod around. We got an empty 26 foot U-Haul and it's a really nice day out here. It's cloudy. It's about as cool as you're gonna get for July. The other day when I was out here, it was brutal. I about passed out. It was so hot. We're gonna open this thing up. You look down the side there, 16 foot, same size as before. Like I said, $30 on this. So let's, okay. It must be jams or something. Well, that was um, catch it, but it was going down, so I just to walk away. <laughs> okay, so that just came like rolling from somewhere out of here. That was funny. And then went on a crazy spin and it just shattered. So we got a little mess here. So you got that on tape? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow. That was um that was interesting. Yeah. I decided I'd better not try to catch that one. All right, so the that was a good start, but I'm let's see. Table. So right here in the front, <laughs> probably gonna be a really nice table base right that that goes on and now we're not gonna have the top. I but anyways, so. moving on from that, right here in the front, this is one of the main reasons why people, hold on, people weren't bidding is because there's drawers missing on the dresser right here, that's right here in the front. But if you look back in there, it's a lot of boxes and bags, maybe just a bunch of junk, who knows? But right here in the front, we got, some posters we got Beatles yesterday and forever what do we got right here Jimmy Page and Robert Plant a little wrinkled up down there on the bottom here's a Frampton poster wonder if they're gonna have some records in here yeah it's very possible based off of these posters uh -huh, and a good one too. psychedelic psychedelic 60s and then eric clapton unplugged all right so we got some posters right here in the front furniture that's right here in the front is you see what it is it's old i think all this goes together that 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 all goes together kind of that old stuff from like the the 80s but we'll get this stuff moved out of the way and then we will see what else we're gonna find but as you can see I'm gonna show up there Lots of junk piled in here. Top of the trampoline box, here's a, there was another box that says open food on it, but when you look in here, it's, it's a um, fire escape rope ladder. The trampoline box, it looks like this might, might be what's in there. Maybe. All wanting to fall down on me, let's see. Folders. Oh, look, we got a bunch of, um, Coke bottles in here. That's for Wang Ku China. Music by JJ. So several Coke bottles down in here. Man, I got stuff falling all over my legs here. What is this? Some kind of... I don't know if they were collecting that or going to drink that. I guess collecting it because it's in here with some other Cokes. Got a wrought iron heavy rod iron lamp here it's like more kind of office type stuff here some dishes royal stafford i don't know if there's more pieces or not it feels like there's a couple pieces in that bag i guess somebody got that as a gift it looks like This 
container the lids all smashed in and it looks like much of it it's kind of just junk but let's see what is this boneware hardening clay Oh, and we got the laundry hoop. I used to have one of these in my room. It's got the real long net. You throw your laundry in there. Ah, it's pinching my finger. Okay. Looks like we're just going to have kitchen stuff, glasses. Yeah, there's a box for mason jars on there. I don't know if that's what's in there or just other stuff, but um, whatever this is. Krosno, Poland. And there goes that. K-R-O-S-N-O -O, Poland. I don't know if that's anything special or not. Lots of, at least right in this area, lots of just magazines and just junk, paperwork and stuff. Uh oh, what do we have here? Let's see. Oh, we got some Harry Potter toys. Lord Voldemort. And then we got Harry Potter. Quidditch, what he's playing Quidditch. Uh, we got invisible cloak carry. It's a little bit pushed in there. I have to fix that. We get the Gringotts vault cart. This is cool right here. Um, Dumbledore, uh, Gryffindor Harry, and then I picked this up. I didn't even notice it. It's a ha little Harry Potter um, broom. So I wonder if we're going to have more stuff like this. Hmm. So all, most of this stuff had been trashed keith and then um this box right here kind of completely different so maybe there's some other stuff like this because a lot of what we'd already saw was a good majority of it was garbage there'd be like a whole bunch of paper and magazines and then one or two things in here here's a it's like a collectible type box here certificate Certificate of Authenticity, Jingles Department Store. Okay, it might be a Christmas village house. Yep. Well, that's nice. That's cool. even got the Coke emblem there. It's like a corner department store. So, hopefully, there's going to be some... I mean, there's still a mountain of stuff back here. So, hopefully, once it's all dug into, we're going to find you know stuff like this kind of intermingled in. I think this goes on top of the cup or something. All right, Keith just handed me this box. We got this Star Wars guy right here on the top. Oh, it is in there. I'm about to say that's I'm about to say it's empty. It's like stick on. It's a natural bra. Keith claimed this before the camera was on. He said he he called dibs on this, so we'll set this aside for him. Autograph picture of Gary Willis, Ibanez guitars. Very rare. So we're getting into some different stuff here. Maybe we're gonna find some Dalmatian. good stuff in this unit. Dalmatian. Oh, we got the um the big chicken. Big chicken. If you ever been to Atlanta and and you ever ask for directions around Cobb County, then you'll probably hear somebody say it's near the big chicken, past the big chicken. It's an unusual landmark that we have here. What is this? Anti gravity top. Oh, some kind of actual top. The nature of the Levitron. Alright. Keith just set this one up on the edge of the truck here. Let's see what we got. We got a little Coke lunch box. It's empty, but that's cool. A little collectible deal there. So they were definitely, looks like they liked Coke stuff. We have a Coke Volkswagen bug here. Here's a Zildjian hat. I wonder if there's a drum kit buried back in there. 
Um, okay, this is like resistance bands, resistant workout bands, stakes. We got a Christmas tie with the stockings. Christmas mix up. Here's a bunch of the, there's a bunch of new plate covers here for your outlets, outlet covers. And other little stuff down in there. Let's see what this is. And there's nothing in there. It's cool. Alright, I just saw peeking out back there. See the top of that black case? I don't know if that's for a guitar or what, but we got a ways to go to get to it, but I didn't notice that until just now. Got a rug. That one looks clean. Yeah. From the back side. You can, you can actually go over on the back side because stuff will go through these rugs and they'll be nasty on the back. Sometimes they're more nasty on the back than they are on the, the top. We got a six flag. Oh, look, there's the six oh, flags man. guy. <laughs> it's Joe Biden. Oh, it's playtime six flags. That guy, that guy right there had a little bit more energy than Joe Biden. I think. <laughs> you remember the commercials? I'm like dancing all yeah. over the place. Oh, here we go. We got a um, presidential coin series book. Damn, that is a lot of coins. It's probably empty. Yeah, I can it's see a it's. Heavy. <laughs> it's all yeah. You you could normally tell. I can see all the slots in there are empty though. Look, this tape, this duct tape is just like dry rotted. Yep, they're gonna be full of VHSs. Wonder if there might be any <coughs> new sealed in here. There's Terminator. So probably some good VHSs. We'll have to look through these and see if there's anything rare. We might get lucky, still sealed up. What is this? More VHSs. They got home alone. See, a lot of them they'll trick you because they leave the plastic on the top, but they're not sealed up. There's a Star Trek. Star Trek. They got Star Wars, Star Trek, War Games. That's a good one. Another Star Trek. Here's a sealed up. Oh yeah, Sunsetter retractable awnings. Okay. We get the blue tote. What are we going to find in the blue tote? Oh, here we go. It's Harry Potter stuff. Look at this. This is a good box right here. Harry Potter lunchbox. Look at that. Now look at this. Is this a lunchbox? This is cool. Um, hmm. I think it's just a fancy like lunch bag. It is. It's, I see the insulation in it, but they put a couple books in here. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Quidditch Through the Ages. But yeah, this is a just like a really nice lunch box here. And then look down here. We got Harry Potter books. We got two Goblet of Fires. We got box set there. Look at this. We got Casting Stone Starter Game. Uh, Casting st Stone collectible game refill trading card game there's all kinds of stuff in here there's a booster um, set it's all it's Harry Potter stuff that's Keith asking me there these are all new sealed Harry Potter trading card game things here so they definitely liked Harry Potter so far we're, we're seeing that we got Classic books from the library, library of Hogwarts. Lots of Harry Potter books and magazines down in here. They've got magazines. Okay, this has nothing to do with Harry Potter, but um, let's see what's in this box right here. It's a Barnes and Noble box, probably a book. It's like they order. Oh, this is a nice one right here. And there's two of them. It's like a really, it's the collector's edition, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Very nice to get here. And another one, that, oh, CDs and LPs. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, get this dry rotted tape off of here. 
Yep. Oh, hey Keith. CDs and records. Look at this Led Zeppelin box set on the CDs. Van Halen, The Who, The Who, and then there's records down in there. There's a whole, oh my goodness. Look at all those records down in there. What? And then look at all the CDs. Oh, we even got a PlayStation game here. Boogies, The Who, they're all good. Yeah. Cream, Deep Purple, Frampton, Frampton. Carpenters, like Chicago. Nope, this one's empty. Oh man, I wasn't even looking. Yeah, they're empty. They're all, empty. That, well, that one's in there. That one's in there. So some of them are empty. Some of them, yep. that one's in there. Let me see about this one. So some of them are in there. Some aren't. That's in there. The Led Zeppelin. I hope the records are in there. <laughs> I don't quite want to. We don't have enough time to pull this yeah, out yet. Smith is in there. <laughs> okay, we'll go. We'll go through this later. I don't, all right, this box here. Look, we're getting to. It is a safe. It isn't safe. Okay, we'll have to, we still gotta get more up before we can get it all the way out. And what is in here? Man, they like to just keep junk mail, the newspapers and everything. But there's a whole, what's in there? But it's the majority in there is just paper. Junky paper. Look at this thing. Yeah, I saw that. That's crazy looking. <laughs> what is it, a lamp? It's a lamp, yeah. Is that the off-on switch on the side? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. There's the guitar box. <laughs> All right, this one is more VHSs. Lots of VHSs, it looks like. Yep. There's some old ones in here. That championships season there could be some rare ones in here look at these they are yeah especially if you get looking and find something in old oh, like this right here it's still sealed up look the beetles yellow submarine still sealed it could be who knows we'll have to look it up and see but yeah that's what you're looking for mainly on the vhs is the biggest thing is ones that are sealed up but there's some of them that are rare that even if they're open are worth a lot of money. Okay, I can get to this now. I don't think this is a good thing. I don't think there's anything in it. Definitely does not feel like there's anything in it. Okay, here we go. It is not in there. So but case can be sold but that's a little disappointing all right the safe i mean i don't it feels like it's empty but there was one i had one that i thought was empty before that i left outside and it turned out it was full of stuff so okay but i don't hear anything in it It's not going to open up without the combo there, so we're probably going to break in there, but definitely does not feel like there's anything in it. Man, oh man, oh man. Clothes. Uh-oh, here's a, I just found a jewelry box down here. Oh man bunch of quarters a little bit of jewelry um, there's some stuff laying down there and then I think there's an actually another jewelry box in the same box there let's see what do we have here maybe And drop it maybe gold here let's see trying to see the markings 
believe this is gold. Can't quite make out the marking on that, but. It's full of something. Definitely have to look at all this closer. There might be some silver in here. Look at this right here. That's sterling silver. It's an old, it's like missing the stone and stuff, but looks like there's some other silver pieces. And this junkie. This was full of Taz and Tweety slippers. I'm sure that's not what's in there, but we're gonna look and see. And look, here's a whole nother box of Harry Potter toys. Tons of Harry Potter toys in here. It's kind of weir weird, because I mean, some of these boxes are so nasty and with paper and everything, and then you'll have these where they, the it's all Potter, brand yeah. new on the Harry Potter stuff. They didn't open any of it. And I mean, there's a ton of it in here. These little scenes, action figures. But jammed full all right we're to the back now we got a whole pile of metal bed frame pieces we got a candle log you put all these little candles in some old golf clubs i don't know what that goes to it looks like an ab lounge down there and other odds and ends i think this is all christmas tree stuff so we're almost done almost there all right, we're back at the store We've got the U-Haul unloaded, all the boxes, all the junk off of that. Well, we still got the furniture on the U-Haul because we're taking that to the dump in the morning. Kind of a strange unit, a lot of a lot of trash, but then a lot of really good stuff too, and probably some in-between stuff. We got a lot of boxes to look through, but here's all the Harry Potter stuff. There was three boxes, that box, that box, and that, that were full of Harry Potter. So there could be more, but I think this is it because it seemed like, you know. It was all just kind of in, in boxes together, but we could have overlooked something. But all this Harry Potter stuff, brand new toys and books and everything, all in this unit. So not a bad deal at all. Big old Hagrid here, these little scenes. See, these are from Kmart, so they probably been bought quite a while ago. I think all these are like from, let's see what the date on these are um 2001 I and mean, look at these right here these large scenes right here with hagrid dumbledore and playing quidditch here but one in one in a collector series of three so i'm assuming these are all three of the series right here but not a bad little haul in the harry potter stuff i haven't looked any of this stuff up i don't know you know if there's anything that's that's worth uh, you know quite a bit but it doesn't take much even at five dollars a piece i mean that's a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff but hopefully we should do you know do several hundred dollars on just this batch of stuff um right here alone once you add it all up by the piece there's a lot of it now we're gonna look at uh, look at this box right here cds and lps okay based off of the posters we saw at the beginning of the unit i thought once we found this i was like we're gonna we're probably gonna find several more boxes with records and stuff in it but we didn't none of them that we that i could tell had any more cds or records or anything but kind of already showed some of the um cds when we were looking but i want to get down to those records with some good cds hopefully the records are you know kind of the same genre of music here there's a bunch of cds oh we got acdc pink floyd let's some of them are in there some of them aren't see like that pink floyd's not in there um, let's check the ACDC back in black. It's not in there. That stinks. So, looks like quite a few of them are not in there. Guns N' Roses not in there. So, hopefully, I'm just picking some of the bad ones here. Stone Temple Pilots. Nope. Okay, that one's in there. What was that one? Um, Super Tramp. I'm wondering if we're going to find, though, like a, an, a, an album. You know, one of those CD holders that's full of CDs maybe in this unit no idea just guessing maybe that's a possibility a bunch of notebooks here i wonder okay there's nothing written in them i thought maybe they had written 
something on these are all brand new five subject there's a five star five subject those will sell pretty easily obviously because school is right around the corner now it's the middle of july it won't be long here probably some people are already buying for school this frame's kind of coming apart okay i'm trying to get down here we go now we're down here to the albums let me get all these out we got bgs right on the top up oh, more bgs and a little drummer boy that's christmas is not really what you want to find as far as on records that are you know going to be worth a little bit of money okay we got the monkeys gap band wham peter and the wolf some people do collect these right here just for the graphics and everything on them Bee Gees. Bee Gees. we got lots of Bee Gees. okay that one's not in there i don't think it feels like it's empty so that's an empty one these are in here let me check and make sure bg's odessa okay so that's the right one it's got a little bit of mildew on that but that can be wiped off what we're catching on in there something is catching oh man there's a lot of mildew on that side that one's got some issues right there i'll have to look at pablo cruz the gap band again little drummer boy so we got christmas here's another bg's let's set this off to the side Perry Como Christmas. Here's another Bee Gees, but it might be empty. Yes, it is. The Beat. So it's got several different. We're going okay. Here we go. Billy Joel. Fifty seconds. That one's empty. Dang on it. Finding some empty ones here. Doctor Doolittle. <laughs> we got Doctor Doolittle here. Let me get that back out and put that kids one there. We got Wham! Everything She Wants. The long version. Okay, I was hoping to find some more rock type of stuff and not stuff like this, but there's another Bee Gees. That's good. Earth, Wind, and Fire. There's a good one here. We got another Bee Gees. Some of these are in really good shape and then like that one Bee Gees was bad. Here's a Sesame Street book and record, original cast. Look at this, it's got some cool graphics. Look how kind of strangely they're drawn there. And the record is there. Yep, Sesame Street. Streisand, George Clinton, computer games. Okay. Another Bee Gees. They like the Bee Gees. We figured out that they liked the Bee Gees, that is for sure. And some of these, like, that's in really good shape. I mean, it's got like, a little bit of wear on the edges, but sometimes, you know, you get records and they're really worn. That's not in there. We got another Bee Gees. So we're going to have every Bee Gees album that they made. Bee Gees. When it comes to records, they, def they wanted to have the Bee Gees in the game we got Pinocchio here with the book Pinocchio record with the book I don't know what that is right offhand we got the chipmunks <laughs> the chipmunks sing the Beatles hits is that what that is yep and look they're even like looking like the Beatles here with the Beatles hair it's interesting Emerson Lake and Palmer all right, we got Lady in the Tramp. So not really what I was expecting on the records. I was thinking thinking it was going to be more rock, you know, kind of similar to the CDs there. But still some good ones here. Andy Williams. One Way. That one is empty. Cameo. Here's a Michael Jackson. Want to be starting something inter instrumental. Okay. Oh, this is cool right here. Look, Star Wars. Original soundtrack. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, ooh. 19, this is an old one, 1977. Oh, look at this right here. It's got all the graphics in here, and it's got two records. Yep, and they're both there. 
That's really cool right there. And this is cool right here. Look, Commodore's Anthology. And of course, the Bee Gees again. And the Bee Gees. Best of the Tramps. Okay, here we go. This is a good, this is what I was hoping to find a lot of. Van Halen. Fair warning, and it is it's in really good shape. And we got the Michael Jackson Thriller. It seems like everybody that has a lot of records has this album. Sometimes, I've seen many times they had more than one Thriller. The Many Faces of Roger. All right, so not quite what I was expecting on the records, but still some good ones nonetheless. That Star Wars was pretty cool. The um, Van Halen whole Bee Gees collection and some other ones also to so check these CDs and see but unfortunately yeah, a lot of them are empty but we're gonna hope that we're gonna find some of them there's Ozzy Osbourne that one's in there and hopefully we're gonna find more of them in the, the unit there's an Ozzy diary of a madman we got Pink Floyd here not in there the best of REM. Nope. So it's kind of hit or miss here. Led Zeppelin. That one's in there. Led Zeppelin 3. There's another Led Zeppelin and it is not in there. So one's in there, one's not. I don't know. What is Honey Wagon? I don't know. Sting doesn't feel like it's in there. So the CDs are definitely hit or miss here. All right, I was gonna go through a lot of those boxes and try to show a lot of that on camera to add to this video, but I really just haven't had time lately and a lot of units have kind of gotten overlapped. So um, a lot of those boxes I haven't even got to yet. I'm not gonna get to them right now. And honestly, a lot of the boxes, um, you know, there was a lot of crap in them. The three box, there was either three or four boxes that had all the Harry Potter stuff in it. That did really well. We did almost five hundred dollars in our auction on this on those Harry Potter toys. And then the one box that had the CDs and the records that did pretty well too. Um, so those few boxes right there made the unit. Um, all the other boxes, like I said, there's just kind of some stuff scattered. And we did find just a little bit of gold and jewelry, and we could end up finding more because. You know, there's a lot of boxes that we haven't been through, but a lot of the boxes were the were majority like paperwork and magazines, um, just with some stuff scattered in them. You know, you know here and there. Um, but you know, who knows? We still got to go through it. But it's not going to be included in this video. Just don't have the time to add it in right now because it's the weird thing is about storage auction business is. Sometimes you'll kind of put stuff on um, certain units on the back burner because you're buying other units and you're having to go through them because the stuff in them you need more than you need to go through those boxes like, you know, furniture and different stuff. But um, so that's pretty much it on this video right here. You know, it turned out really, really good just based off of a few boxes. It's crazy how a unit can do that. But I only paid $30. So $30 and just three boxes almost 500 bucks and you know there's still quite a bit more than that who knows how much it'll all add up to once it's all said and done but those that harry potter stuff you know just just definitely made the unit but that's it if you like this video give us a thumbs up leave a comment and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button you'll have a good one